As I prepare to leave the home I loved and remember the sacrifices that had to be made to live here, I also want to take with me the memories that made it what it was. We built magic there, together, in and beyond this home. I wonder how possible it is to carry away memories of a home one loved. Remembering treasures of my cozy home, they'll change and grow as they meld with the wonder of what lies ahead. The warm living and dining room memories, the cozy kitchen opening into a family room, the wider look at nooks we grew to love, lower floor fun that still sings playful magic, views of a lowest floor beyond our playroom, outside back with several screened rooms, trees and bushes all planted with love and meaning. Closer look at bright living room. Last room I'll view as I leave this home soon for good. Every plant here came with love attached. My alternate boardroom and dining room Family room that fires and family kept warm. The family room open to the kitchen aromas. We loved to gather for dinner and deep talks. The kitchen held the best view of my gardens below. The door to the back here enters my attached garage. Views of the upper patio and much loved Gabbana. The main floor bath had views to my creek outside. The master bedroom with a walk-in closet here to the left. Upstairs bath with garden and creek views. Cozy room for beloved family and treasured friends. Upper hallways to rooms filled with love. Lower floor playroom where magic still abounds and will long after I leave. Lower floor cozy overflow room. Another view of the overflow lower room on the bottom floor. Furnace and air conditioner that kept us comfy. Here in this office, in my beloved home, doing work that I've done for 40 years, studying how the brain changes learning and leadership when used as it comes, when finding and using the awesome equipment of the human brain. It's this work that got me up for years in this house and brought me to this office where I found my books and stored books that I have written over the years, materials, hundreds of them, probably thousands of publications that I've done globally on the brain, leaving this behind, wondering what's new. Downstairs, outside Cabana, in the still of the evening. Fun around our famous Namungo tree with a door we waited to open. Fire and Thorovian area out back. Top patio view of back gardens with a creek below. Upper and lower cabanas and functional grill. A view over Nana's yard from Hendrix and Frankie's trees. Now it's time to learn how to step away and do it without slipping into stress. Nana's learning more about God's grace and family's love in this emotional move. What are you learning?